Everland Kids, Pastor Maddie here again. Hope you all enjoyed day number one of our devotional series. Today we're doing day number two. I'm so excited to be back here with you guys. I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so as normal, you need to get all your supplies. So first things first, you need your forgiveness daily devotional don't forget to grab that you're gonna want this because we have a really fun activity to start off with the second thing you're going to need of course very important when doing devotions is our Bible so go ahead and grab your Bible and then remember our three and fourth items you need your pen and or pencil and you need a journal to write in so don't forget to get all of your items. They're very important. We're gonna, we are going to want to use them as we go about today. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to do our little opposite matching game. I wanted to say crossword and it was not a crossword. So we're gonna go ahead and do our opposite drawing. So you're gonna wanna get out your handy dandy pen or your pencil if you would like to use your pencil. I'm gonna use my pen and we're gonna go through it, okay? So, here we go. Hot, cold, left, right, hurt, heal, high, low, day, night, yes, no, friend, Enemy, hello, goodbye, up, down, open, shut. Huh, opposites. That seems, seems a little random, if you ask me, in terms of our theme of forgiveness. We're talking about do it yourself when it comes to forgiveness, but I'm not quite sure how opposites tie in. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at our verse and see if we can't figure this out. Our verse today comes from Luke chapter 17 verses 3 and 4. So Luke is in the New Testament. If you can see, I'm in the back half of my Bible. So this is the front end. It's very, very thick. That means we've gone through all of the Old Testament and we are now into the New Testament. The New Testament starts with a book called Matthew. It's the start of the Gospels. So you've got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and then John. Those are your four Gospels. So we're going to be in the third Gospel today. Luke chapter 17, verses 3 and 4. Now remember, chapter 17 is going to be a big number, and then verses 3 and 4 are going to be tiny little bit of baby numbers. So make sure you got that. Everyone got it? Good. All right, here we go. Luke chapter 17, verses three and four. And it says, pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times saying, I repent, you must forgive him. Huh. Okay, not still seeing how opposites match up with forgiveness, but let's read it one more time and hopefully I'll get the picture. Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times saying, I repent, you must forgive him. Oh, um, just like our opposites where it's hot versus cold, if somebody does something wrong, as much as I really want to do the same thing and be mean back to them, I need to do the opposite and I need to forgive them. Like we talked about yesterday, forgiveness is really hard, guys. There are, like I said, there are a lot, a lot of times where even I don't want to forgive and I'm an adult. Forgiveness is hard. But it is something that Jesus asks us to do. So like our opposites, when somebody is mean, the right choice is to forgive. 
we don't want to do the wrong choice and kind of beat them up. As much as you want to beat them up, it's not a good thing. And you don't get to show the love of Jesus. And Jesus asks us to show his love to all of our friends. Not just our friends, but our family as well. Even sometimes when they're being really, really mean. And like I said, it's really hard. But when we stand with Jesus, it's really easy to forgive him. So, as we think about it today, I really want us to pause and go, Okay, Jesus, is there anybody who I really need to forgive? I have a few people I need to forgive, so I'm going to ask Jesus too. But as we do it, what we need to do now is you need to grab your handy dandy notebook and your pen or pencil. I like my pen. And we're going to go ahead and write our verse out. So, you ready? Here we go. Remember, for our devotionals, we do soap, scripture, observation, affirmation, and a prayer. And we're going to see how it works in our lives. Ready? but I observed quite a few things and realized that I need to forgive a lot of people even when they ask it. Like the opposite, sometimes I don't always want to, but if I have somebody who does something bad against me seven times in a day and they ask me to forgive them, I need to do the right thing and forgive them. The end of our little devotional paper says that when we find ourselves getting angry and when we've been hurt, we probably should bow our heads and ask God to help you do the exact opposite of what you feel like. Instead of paying back to get even, we want to align ourselves with Jesus and we want to forgive our friends. So I'm going to head out. I'm going to go work on forgiving all my friends, even when they be really mean to me and when they ask. All right, y'all. I love you and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye.